Hey YouTube, what I'm going to be doing today is a back to school DIY. Um, and so what I'm going to be making is these really cool neon, I guess you could call them like a silicone bracelet. Basically, I'm making them out of glue gun, the glue from the glue gun, and it's super easy. So what you're going to need for this project is a ceramic plate, preferably one where you can see your glues on it, um, a piece of paper the size of your wrist. So you have to fold the paper around and see if your wrist can fit through. That's how you'll know that it's big enough. And then you need some paints. I got these neon fabric paints a while back for another project and I think they're Elmer's. They're in like the kids craft section. Um, I got them at Walmart. Or you can just use nail polish or spray paint. Um, what you're also going to need is a glue gun. And you need lots of the glue sticks. So you can get them at the dollar store. Super cheap, like a dollar per pack or whatnot. So grab two, just in case you're feeling extra crafty. Uh, so let's get started. So you're going to need to take a piece of plain paper and what I did is I just cut the end off of it because that's the size of my wrist and if you need to measure yours go for it. And then take the glue gun when it's hot and start making a line of glue the same size as the piece of paper that you cut. Make sure that there's no skips in the glue, that it's one solid line all the way from the end to the beginning, or else your bracelet could come apart. So then I'm going to make another layer of glue, and these are going to form the ends of my bracelet. So now what we're going to do is fill in the middle with whatever pattern you like. It can be completely random, like a free form, whatever you want to do. I'm going to show you a few more patterns I did. So this one was just um, line after line all connected together. Make sure that they're sitting really close to one another. And I did about three lines if you want something more plain. And this one is going to be a wider one and I'm going to do some hearts in the middle. So leave a little more space between the two lines and then you can draw your hearts. So we'll just freehand them. If you make any mistakes because it is glue, you can just go back over it and fill in the gaps. So that's really nice. It's pretty much foolproof. So once your glue dries, you're going to take your bracelet off the plate and it shouldn't stick and flip it over. And then you're going to connect the two ends together and take your glue gun and connect the ends. So make sure you have a solid piece of glue on each side and just hold it until it dries. Okay, now that we have now some we made have up, some made up. Um, what we're going to be doing is painting them. So with these sprays, it's really cool. You can kind of get an ombre look with it. Um, if you just spray them more concentrated in one spot than the other. So just kind of go with the flow. And if you want it all solid, you could totally do that as well. But I kind of like the um, ombre sort of mismatched look. I did this heart one, so we'll do it in pink. Cool. That's the heart. If you want to do it with nail polish, do it the exact same way. Just throw a couple layers on there. Oh, 
Oh, this color is really cool. Got some pink on it though. Well, thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.